question is to the Minister for Health. Can the Minister please update the House on Australia's progress in the fight against COVID-19 and how the commencement of Phase 1B of the vaccine rollout will scale up and help protect Australian lives and livelihoods um, against the continuing global pandemic? The Minister for Health. Thank you very much, Mr Speaker, and I uh, want to thank the member for Reid, particularly with her focus on mental health, at a time which has seen extraordinarily challenges for Australians. Uh, the last year has been a challenge for the world, and it's been a challenge for Australians. And the last weekend, of course, in New South Wales, uh, has seen uh, more hardships visited upon the, the public. But one important point of light in the midst of all of this is uh, today is a further day of zero cases of community transmission of COVID-19. That makes 50 days, or 62 per cent of days, this calendar year, with no community transmission across Australia. What that means is that there have been no lives lost in Australia in 2021 to COVID-19. And yet we know, at the same time, the pandemic does continue. Numbers have sadly begun to increase again around the world, with over 399,000 cases yesterday and over 6,000 lives lost. So against that background, what we now see with the vaccination program is over 280,000 vaccinations completed, over 58,000 vaccinations in aged care, 609 first doses completed in facilities around the country and 89 second doses completed in aged care facilities around the country. Significantly today, what we see, significantly 89 facilities, significantly today, what we see is that phase 1B, the rollout to over 1,000 general practices, continues and expands today. Around the country, Australians are being vaccinated in their general practices, and this number will grow from over 1,000 to over 4,000 before the end of April. I had the privilege uh, of joining uh, the National Health Co-op practice in Macquarie today, where Lynn was vaccinated by her doctor, Jo. And what we saw uh, was the pride of a doctor in being able to administer the vaccine, the pride of the practice in able, uh, being able to coordinate it, where they were booking out over five weeks, which was a wonderful thing, and the, pri uh, and the change the transformation, that sense of hope, that sense of protection that is occurring right across Australia. So now we see that as the uh, vaccines come in, as the supply is available, exactly as we said on the 22nd of March, we would commence this phase of the vaccine program. And we also see the TGA approval over the course of the weekend for CSL manufacturing and production in Australia of Australia's sovereign vaccine manufacturing capability. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ultimately, this is about saving lives the and protecting lives.